Hello, train fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Railroad. Okay, so that's more like the More Freedom series over there. But hey, welcome back to Railroader. We're back here in More Freedom Railroad. And we are currently in Ella picking up passengers to take to Whittier. Um, so we're going to correct our mistake when it comes to the... I wouldn't call it a mistake, but we're going to get rid of the... Um, the the caboose off the train so we're looking to see how many passengers we got all uh it looks look like we got zero passengers waiting so we can take off in just a second i don't know what we're getting into today so um oh let's figure her out let's let's get her let's get her going i guess click on here control click on there and Let's get let's get let's get out of here, I guess. And so we are going to going over here to Whittier. And remember, we're gonna put that, I think, on the middle put that on the middle track there. So we have weight. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get going. Let's get out of here. I've remembered some of the controls since I played last time, so that's fantastic. Yeah, so hopefully everybody is having a fantastic day, and you're looking forward to some sweet railroading action here. We're going to try to get her up to about 30. along here from Ella to Whittier. Um, where are we going from here? So... How much you expand is up to you. Several bridges, bri bridges, bridges were destroyed by the flooding. Repairing them will make Repairing them will take money to purchase the materials and our railroad to move the materials to the repair sites. In the company window, open the Milestones tab and select the first milestone, Repair Ella Bridge. Each milestone has several phases. When you're ready for more railroad, pay for the available phase and the materials will be delivered to the interchange the next day. Those, Once those materials are delivered to the site, the next phase will be available. Most milestones expand the reach of a railroad, but some bring exciting technologies to the line. How you expand is up to you. Uh, add more power with Shift T. We'll, we'll do that. Shift T. New equipment is delivered to the interchange. To sell equipment owned by your railroad, use the inspector's equipment. Oh, how fast are we going? 22. Um... Okay, well there we go. We got a mogul, we got a ten wheeler, a Pacific. Oh, uh, not expensive, but I mean we're not making thousands of dollars and all that stuff. So, ooh, a GP9. Excuse me. Very cool. I think we'll get into, obviously we'll get into that stuff a lot later. If I... I think we're just moving along. I think our first deal here is going to be definitely get the 
get some more cargo going. And I know I've seen a lot of people that are just leaving the passenger car where it is and letting it just fill up. So, I mean, that's always an option for us where we just leave the passenger car there and then take all of our freight stuffs out. So, thinking about that. And, I mean, technically we've only played... We're only 8.30 in the game, you know what I mean? So, what I'm thinking in my head is, is that because we're only at 8.30 in the game, then there's a lot of stuff... There's not much for us to do right now, is what I'm saying. Give it some more juice here. Reverse may not just just may not be fast. Oh, there we go. We got some juice going now. And we can look at the map and see that we're still in the 30 mile per hour zone. We are coming up to this turn, which may be where we need to slow down a bit. And we want to be on the middle track. So let's go, I forget that too, okay, so we'll stay, okay, that's going to take us on track two, I think that's where we want to be, is on track two right here, we want to be in the middle one, so let's make sure this looks good, that one looks good, so we should be good to drop it right there. Hit, we finally hit 30 miles per hour. Do a little break in here. So we'll get parked up here, we'll get everybody delivered off, and what we'll do is we'll look at our contracts and see what we need to do for our contracts, because we need to, well, also we need to take the caboose down to, oh okay, yeah, we technically could just leave it on the end of the passenger car. see if we are in the right spot or not. And I think that was um, this locations. And then we are at Whittier Depot. Oh, we need to go forward just a hair. Go Take off the brake. There we go. They're unloading now.
I you know there there's no cars in the game, so I could leave the caboose on here, or I can go put it back where it was. I might just leave it on here. Really not a huge ordeal. There we go. So we got made twenty five real dollars or fake, whichever. We made them. So I'm gonna throw the handbrake on there. Get that guy. So we are good to go on that. Uh, so let's look at our... Have to remember what... Oh, first let's do the milestones. $750. Okay, let's do that. We got that, so that took us, got some, got some casholas. East Whittier diesel stand, seventy-five hundred dollars. Yeah, that's going to be a deal. Look at all this that we get to do. So we're going to be repairing, so we're going to get 13 cars to the Ella Bridge site. So that is good. We should check on our engine. Okay, that one's good. We did that one. We did that one. So I don't know. Let's... Yep, we got that. Farm Supply, Ella Station. Now, where is Connolly Creek, Connolly Creek at? Okay. Logs at 12 cars per day, in storage, 24 logs. Track L1. I wonder where L2 and stuff is. So where are we at on the map? Oh, like we're way down there. Oh, that's where that branch line goes. So we did the Whittier Sawmill. And <clears throat> sorry, I was sneezing. So I'm looking at this, and I wonder if I need to take cars down to, if I did this, if I took that down where it was logs, because it would do 12 cars per day. Do I just set them there? I don't know. I don't know. I'm very interested to find out. Um, let's uh, send this guy back to... Oh, let's make sure all of our switches are fine here. Let's send that back to down here. Make sure our switches are good on the way. That's going to put it on this side. How And we have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Like, we got like 12 cars. So if I bring this up here, we're going to try something. We're going to try something out. So we're going to bring our train back here. And I'm going to try um, 
pulling in here and taking these cars over to that one to to Connolly and see if that does anything. So we'll head back to the left here. So yeah, we're going to take our cars from here and we're going to push them over to Connolly and see if that does anything for us. We'll take them to track one. And hopefully we don't derail. So we got to get past this guy right here. Yeah, we're going to run the opposite direction. We'll push them there and then pull them back because we don't have a way to turn around. So we'll see if this does us anything cuz I don't know. I'm 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 learning. I'm still learning the game, so I don't know if I can actually do this or if I can't actually do this. I don't know if these have Oh, they do. Bring her in, Mike. Bring her in. Bring her in. Let's see if any of these have... Nope, none of them have the that one. So let's pull them out and take them over to Connolly. We should be good, because that'll take us all the way down this track. So we should be good to pull them all the way down. We got 10 cars. We got eight log cars. Push them this way, and we're going to head out. And then down here is where we switch to this track. All right, now we're cooking with bacon. Oh, let's go check that other switch at the other side of the Y. Make sure it is this way. Okay. So nine takes us to the end of the train, so get this beast fired up.
All right, we're into the curve. Let's see if we derail. I mean, because it's actually kind of shaky pushing these empty cars, I feel like. I, I don't know. I don't know much about railroading other than, listen, I'm, I'm a railroader right now, but. So we want to take them down here to... We want to go to track one, which is way down here. Okay, so let's bring up our this. Okay, we're going to try to put some of them there. And then P2 is pulp. And I don't think that is a log car. So we're going to put some of the... If we can put them all on L1, we will. make sure that we get it I don't know how close we are I, I w oh we can totally just pull open the map so if we need to we could I and we're trying this out because I don't know so if we have to we can push it to the two separate tracks for the logs. I think, nope, not coming up yet. We gotta get around this turn first. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to flip this switch, and I don't know if I flipped it before or not. And then we got to shove them into there, so... See how many cars we can fit in here. And we're going to look at this track. And it's down to just a little bit short of the Y there. Bringing her in, Mike. Still don't know who Mike is. So we're going to figure out how many cars can fit in here. I 
I know why they do this now. It's to give it a, a little bit of a chuff there. Keeping her going. So let's... Oh, yeah. We definitely can't fit all of them in here. So we can actually, I think, come back a hair... And might be able to fit one. Well, I, I guess we don't need to fit all of them in here. Maybe we do all of them up to like here. Is that where the... Yeah, so let's cut out this car. See, I thought I hit the button to Yeah, cuz it's like control click. Hmm. Not that one. Um, let's put on, where's the, okay, so I don't know if it's just going to auto fill or what we're going to do here. What'll happen? I couldn't tell you. Uh, oh, maybe it's, uh, I have to click on the car. Okay, let's pull. How many we cut? Okay, well, let's let's back up some. We're figuring things out here. Okay, so we've got four cars in here. All right, so loads to not set. Empties to Conley Creek L1. Um, Copy to three others. So it's on to all those three. Um, the loads to empties to destination to waybill this car when it has been emptied right to there. Handbrake. Apply. Okay. I, I'm kind of guessing here. Oh. Wait. Was I on this car? Oh, poop. Is that the one I was on? Nope, not set. This is actually going to be L2. I was on the wrong car. That's a big... Dur, dur, dur. Okay, so now... Operations, Conley Creek, apply to all of them.
and then we need to back up. And then recouple that car. And bleed the handbrake. Release the hand. Release the Kraken. Release that. Find where we control click it. And operations L2, copy to the three others. And they're loading those. So there's how many cars there? The four others. So one, two, three, four. Okay, now, friends and family, we can take these to L2. All right. So where is L2 at? Like, I think down here, one of these two. Yep, okay. Back to L1. All right. A break off. Break off. Keep her going, keep her going, we're good. Then we're gonna head that way. that one so we're going to be coming in from I think this direction so I want to switch that one and then it was this track to the left I do believe let's make sure let's make sure that that's the correct track yep so I think we kind of got it we kind of got her figured out I'm making sure. Okay, so I did not. Operations. Copy to three others. Okay, there we go. And this is not correct. Operations. Conley Creek L2. Copy to three others. Set. Well, it's not updating where they're supposed to go. Empties to that. Nope. L2. We're good now. We're good now. Okay, we're good now. I was doing something wrong. Not a game thing by any means. That was definitely something I was doing, I believe. Let's give it a little more juice here. So it looks like it can hold possibly two logs, 
question mark? Maybe it holds three logs. I honestly don't know. I honestly thought it was just one log. Oh, we didn't check this one. Oh yeah, this is this is where we want to be. This is where we want to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bleed off some of that speed. Yep, keep her coming, keep her coming, keep her coming. I wonder if we'll need both engines to pull this thing out of here. Okay. Are we all on the L2? Let's check her. We're all on the L2. So that is 12 log 37 logs in storage, 22 logs in storage. So I think we can just wait a second here. We'll see if anything starts loading. And let's go back over to L1, see what's going on here. Maybe it is just one log, but it seems like it would be more than one. Looks like it's got to be more than that. Let's look at this. Maybe we can't do anything with these. I don't know. These are all loaded. So I don't know if we have to pull this out and put it back in. Okay, well, that just sounds awful. Um, you know what I mean. Because it's not fully loaded. Okay. So I think it's just taken a while to load. All right, so if we hit this and we go back over here to this, and then we come back here, and then we look at this car... Yeah, they're just taking a while to load because it was like a half a car. That's one full log now on this one. So they're just taking a while to load. Okay. So I wonder if it is it's either three or four logs total. All right. Well, um, 
I guess what we'll do is we will just leave this engine here for right now. And let's go check on our other engine and see what it's doing. See how she going here. Let's uh let's see if it let's see if she's uh let's do this one let's get out of here so we'll leave that guy there and oh you know what you know what let's go back to this one let's check the no water and no coal Mm hmm Well, you know what that means. Back into the driver's seat. Let's disconnect. Close that, and I'm, mm -hmm. let's put a brake on over here, apply that, and let's head back to the other place, and let's grab the other engine and fill it up with all of the stuff. She got going pretty fast there, dude. All right, so we'll be back in just a moment when I get the other engine and get it all filled up. And if anything exciting happens, I'll break it. All right, we're all, we're back. We're all hooked up to engine number one. So let's get engine number one out of the shed here. it over to the coal and water chute. Probably don't need to go too fast out of here. Wow, well, good picture. We'll get ready to put this guy to work here. Get this open. Rotate that. And stop. Get her all filled up here. This might take a while. It's like, how many gallons of water go in this thing? It's like, three four thousand right so we'll get this guy filled up and we'll be back in a minute all right we are filled up on um water whatever that stuff is let's get some coal in this and while it's filling up on coal let's hit those brakes so we'll talk about our plan of attack for the next episode while that's filling up on coal. Look how dirty that guy is. Sheesh. Um, lower the coal chute, get some coal in there. And so in the next episode, since we have... Oh, look, it already fired off the boiler. Nice. Um, since we already have... We have both engines ready to go now. Um... I can take one engine down to pick up the logs, and then the other engine, we can start using it to pick up all of the cars and stuff that'll be over here um, and whatnots. So 
We're going to get a bunch of yard work for the next time because we're going to have some stuff to deliver to the sawmill. We're going to have all of our normal customers to deliver. And uh, we, we're just going to have a lot of stuff that we're going to have to do in the next episode, which is going to be awesome because it's going to keep us busy for an episode or two just picking up and delivering and all that other stuff because our first run was very short. I think you know that. Like It was a long episode, but there wasn't all that much to do. I was It was mostly me figuring everything out, you know. So, we're backing up here. Might as well get this guy filled up with everything. Are we close enough? I don't know if we are or not. We are. Might as well fill this guy up with coal. Interesting that that one... This one holds more coal, question mark? Maybe I could have let it go? I thought it filled up all the way. I don't know. Um, Because yeah, it looks full. Interesting. So anyway, yeah, because it did... It stopped going. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. It's fine. But yeah, in the next episode, we're going to try to put both these engines to work in different spots and get everything for the railroad keeping her going we're just going to keep her going for the next episode i know what i'm saying we'll be good next episode all the all the railroading action we'll figure out what to do with the passengers and all that stuff uh while i'm thinking of it we'll go and let that passenger coach fill up. Let's hit the I button. We're going to come over to... This one. And then we control click this guy. We go to passenger. And... I think that's what we do. So... That's what we'll be doing on the, in the next episode. All of the things, getting both of these engines working. And, um, yeah. That's going to do it for this episode of the More Freedom Railroad. Sorry I was kind of just brain dead there for a second. But, hey, I appreciate everybody hanging out and chilling and watching the Railroader. Thank you so much for all the comments and views over the last couple weeks. Actually, this year. They're very, very much appreciated. And until next time here on the More Freedom Railroad, take care. <laughs>